You're accustomed to running Windows PowerShell scripts to pre-configure things on a computer. Well, yeah, it's going to run, including create a new admin PowerShell console to run those commands. However, what you're going to find is none of the commandlets that require admin access are going to be able to change because by default, Microsoft decided that scripts should be disabled on Windows systems that are not server and that are off domain. Now, as of a specific update, which I cannot find the exact details on when it changed, this option you could include before, which was run as no profile execution policy bypass, no longer works and you're left with this error. Here's a prefix line that you can add set execution policy dash execution policy remote signed dash scope process. This won't permanently change your execution policy for the computer just for this process, this script that you're trying to run. After that, you can run your regular commands to go ahead and create an admin console and run whatever else you want on your script. This actually helps and works and allows you to be able to run your scripts within a right click run as PowerShell process without modifying too much of the computer, temporarily changing the policy of the PC. And of course, keep in mind that that needs to be the actual first line that goes into your PowerShell script, because if you put it within another part of the process, that's not going to work. This one, I've got it running to set the execution policy up front right now for PowerShell. Then after that, you can go ahead and include your commands that open a new PowerShell window as the administrator and go ahead and execute the rest of the commands that you want run. If you like videos like this, of course, don't forget to give me a follow there. I appreciate a like as always. And if you want to put in some helpful comments, hey, I'm all for sharing. Sharing is caring.